Hi everyone, Dad Battery here, and thank you for joining me on my channel. Today's video is going to be on another retro console find. It came out in Japan in the late 1990s, and it was also released in the United States. In Japan it was called PC Engine GT, and in the United States it was called a Turbo Express. The system can get kind of pricey. It did take me a while to find one within a price range that I was willing to pay, and there can be a couple things wrong with it that include capacitors as well as the screen. When I first got the system, I vaguely remember it turning on, but I don't actually remember what was listed as being wrong with it. I decided that this would be a fun task to see if we could get it working. This is what it looks like on the front. It says PC Engine GT. And these are what the cards look like. It does take six AA batteries. So first I'm going to test it and I wasn't too sure if it was going to work with or without the card so I tested it with both and honestly because this is a new system I've never messed with before I didn't know where these buttons were supposed to face or which way the card was supposed to face but I didn't see any kind of flicker on the screen so I'm going to take it apart and see if there's anything obvious. My ultimate goal with this was to change out the capacitors since I didn't know what could be wrong with it and the first thing I thought could be capacitors. I decided to get the capacitors at console 5 instead of locally because my local retailer does not carry surface mount. I'll leave a link in the description below on where I got them. To get to the area with most of the capacitors, I do have to take off these two metal plates on each side. I did decide to use my hot tweezers to separate all of the old capacitors from the motherboard. This area right here was difficult to get the capacitors off so I decided to chip away some of this white rubber or I'm not too sure what it was. This is the first time I'm using them for their intended purpose, and it was a lot of fun. The last one I do have to clip off and I'm just going to keep using the hot tweezers just to get these two last legs off. I accidentally burnt one of the wheels as you can see here. So always be careful so you don't damage any of the plastic. If you've never worked with surface mount, the black side is the negative side. I'm not 100% sure why I switched to my regular soldering iron for this. I think I was more scared that the hot tweezers would burn the plastic if I was holding on too long. So right now I'm just soldering each side and kind of pushing it down. I do this with 
ceramic capacitors. I hold one side, solder it, and then I hold the other side, and then I kind of give it a push down with the iron on it so it completely sits into place. I'm not sure if doing it with the hot tweezers would have been quicker, but I decided just to keep using my normal solder iron. This last step is putting a piece on the back, but I had a lot of difficulty getting this one into place without sticking to everything else. After I got everything soldered into place and I cleaned everything off and I reattached everything, I was not able to get it to turn on. So here it is. I could not get the screen to work no matter what I did. I tried different batteries just in case any of my batteries were dead. This is the first time I'm obviously working on this system. So I did the first thing I thought was the most obvious with the Atari that was a first suggestion also with game gears because capacitors go bad I do have a new screen for this surprisingly enough the Atari and the PC engine both use the same size screen I'm not too sure if it's the screen I might have to do some troubleshooting to determine if I didn't put a capacitor on correctly or if it could be the screen if you know what it could be please let me know in the comments. I'm always up for suggestions and I will definitely make another video about troubleshooting it and here's hoping I can get it fixed. I really do want this system to work. I think it's a pretty unique system. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share with your friends and I'll see you again in two weeks. Bye!